From the air it appears as a sea of green, tranquil and undisturbed. Yet these very lands, now home to little more than rustling leaves and the calls of unseen birds, were once witness to the rise and fall of empires, the clash of armies, and the ebb and flow of civilizations. This is the story of one such empire, the Ottoman Empire, a power that for over six centuries held sway over vast swathes of the world, leaving an indelible mark on the tapestry of history, Born amidst the tumultuous final years of the Byzantine Empire, the Ottomans, through a potent mix of military prowess, strategic brilliance and administrative acumen, transformed from a small Anatolian Beylik into a sprawling empire that straddled three continents. From the shores of North Africa to the gates of Vienna, the whisper of the Ottoman name was enough to inspire both awe and trepidation. Join us now as we journey back in time to explore the military campaigns that shaped this remarkable empire, delving into the battles won and lost, the strategies employed and the legacy left behind by these formidable warriors. This is the story of the Ottoman Empire's military might. Uh, our story begins in the 13th century in the rugged Anatolian heartland, where a young and ambitious leader named Osman I laid the foundations for what would become one of history's most enduring empires. Surrounded by fractured remnants of the once mighty Byzantine Empire, Osman, a skilled warrior and shrewd tactician, recognized the opportunity presented by the weakening grip of Constantinople. The early Ottomans, though relatively small in number, were a hardy and disciplined force primarily composed of mounted warriors known as Akinji. These fierce horsemen, adept at raiding and rapid manoeuvres, formed the backbone of the early Ottoman military, proving instrumental in their initial conquests against neighbouring Byzantine territories. Osman's successors, fuelled by ambition and guided by a potent blend of Islamic zeal and pragmatism, continued to chip away at the Byzantine frontiers. Each victory, however small, bolstered their ranks, attracting both seasoned warriors and fresh recruits, eager to share in the spoils of war. The capture of Bursa in 1326 marked a turning point, providing the nascent Ottoman state with its first major urban centre and a strategic foothold from which to launch further campaigns. With each passing decade, the Ottoman war machine grew in size and sophistication, incorporating new technologies and tactics gleaned from their vanquished foes. The Ottomans' mastery of gunpowder weaponry, particularly cannons, proved decisive in their siege warfare, allowing them to breach the once impregnable walls of Byzantine fortresses. The thunderous roar of Ottoman artillery became a harbinger of change, signalling the dawn of a new era in military history. By the close of the 14th century, the Ottomans had firmly established themselves as the dominant power in Anatolia, their gaze now fixed on the ultimate prize, the ancient city of Constantinople, the last bastion of the once mighty Byzantine Empire. The stage was set for a clash of civilizations, a battle that would determine the fate of both empires and reshape the political landscape of the region for centuries to come. The 15th century ushered in an era of unprecedented Ottoman expansion, a period marked by daring campaigns and resounding victories that extended their reach across continents. Under the leadership of visionary sultans like Mehmed II and Selim I, the Ottoman Empire transformed from a regional power into a global empire, its borders stretching from the Balkans to the Persian Gulf. The year 1453 witnessed a pivotal moment in world history, the fall of Constantinople to the Ottoman forces under the command of the young and ambitious Sultan Mehmed II. The siege of Constantinople, a city that had withstood countless sieges for over a millennium, was a testament to Ottoman military ingenuity and determination. The Ottomans, employing a combination of brute force and cunning strategy, breached the city's formidable defences, finally capturing the Byzantine capital after a 53-day siege. With Constantinople now under their control, renamed Istanbul and established as the new Ottoman capital, the Ottomans turned their attention towards securing their Balkan frontiers. Over the next century, the Ottoman armies marched victoriously through the Balkans, subduing Serbia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, incorporating vast territories and diverse populations into their ever-expanding empire. The reign of Selim, known as Selim the Grim, witnessed an eastward expansion of the Ottoman Empire. Selim 
a ruthless and ambitious ruler, led his armies to victory against the Mamluk Sultanate of Egypt and Syria, securing control of the holy cities of Mecca and Medina and establishing Ottoman dominance over the heartland of the Arab world. Selim's conquests not only expanded the Ottoman Empire's territorial reach, but also brought with them immense wealth and resources. Control of the lucrative trade routes connecting East and West further bolstered the Ottoman treasury, providing the financial muscle to support their ambitious military campaigns. Despite challenges, the Ottoman Empire, by the middle of the 16th century, had emerged as one of the most powerful empires in the world, its military might unmatched by any other power in the region. Chapter 3. Battles of Legend, Forging an Empire in the Crucible of War the Ottoman Empire's rise was forged on blood-soaked battlefields, clashing with formidable foes. From the Siege of Constantinople to the Battle of Mohach, these engagements showcased Ottoman military prowess. The Siege of Constantinople in 1453 stands as a testament to Ottoman ingenuity and determination. Sultan Mehmed II's use of advanced weaponry, including massive cannons, was decisive. The bombards forged by Orban shattered the city's defences. These colossal guns created breaches, allowing Ottoman infantry to storm the city. The final assault witnessed extraordinary bravery on both sides. The Janissaries led by Ulubatli Hassan overwhelmed the Byzantine defenders. The Battle of Chaldiran in 1514 marked another significant victory for the Ottomans. This clash pitted the Sunni Ottomans against the Shia Safavids. Led by Selim I, the Ottomans employed superior firepower to devastating effect. Ottoman artillery and disciplined Janissaries decimated the Safavid ranks. Despite setbacks like the Battle of Lepanto, the Ottoman Empire remained a formidable power. Chapter 4. The Art of Ottoman Warfare. Strategies and Tactics of an Empire. The Ottoman Empire's military successes were not merely a product of brute force, but stemmed from a sophisticated understanding of strategy, tactics and logistics, coupled with an ability to adapt to changing battlefield conditions. Their military prowess, honed over centuries of warfare, was a testament to their organisational skills, tactical flexibility and mastery of both traditional and gunpowder warfare. At the heart of the Ottoman military system lay a deep appreciation for discipline and order. Ottoman soldiers, whether Janissaries, Sipahis or Azabs, underwent rigorous training regimens that instilled obedience, loyalty and a strong sense of esprit de corps. Ottoman commanders, schooled in the art of war from a young age, were renowned for their tactical acumen and ability to adapt their strategies to exploit enemy weaknesses. They were masters of both offensive and defensive warfare, equally adept at besieging fortified cities and engaging in open field battles. The Ottomans were early adopters of gunpowder weaponry, recognizing its potential to revolutionize warfare. Cannons, muskets and handguns became integral parts of the Ottoman arsenal, providing them with a decisive edge over many of their adversaries. Ottoman artillery, in particular, was renowned for its size, firepower and accuracy. Massive bombards, capable of reducing city walls to rubble, became synonymous with Ottoman siege warfare, striking fear into the hearts of their enemies. The Sipais, the elite cavalry force of the Ottoman army, were renowned for their horsemanship, archery skills and ability to execute swift flanking manoeuvres. The Ottomans were masters of logistics, recognising that a well-supplied army was crucial for victory. They established a sophisticated system of roads, bridges and supply depots, ensuring a steady flow of food, ammunition and reinforcements to their armies in the field. The Ottoman Empire's military system, a complex and multifaceted organism, was a product of centuries of experience, adaptation and innovation. Chapter 5. Triumphs of the Crescent Moon, Analyzing the Ottoman Military Edge the Ottoman Empire's military triumphs were the result of a complex interplay of factors. Their sophisticated military organization and mastery of both traditional and gunpowder warfare were key. Centralized and hierarchical, the Ottoman military was a well-oiled machine. With clear chains of command and a sophisticated logistics system, they ensured victory. Pioneers in gunpowder weaponry, their early adoption of cannons and muskets gave them an edge. The elite Sipahis cavalry were renowned for their horsemanship and archery skills. Adaptability and incorporation of new technologies and tactics were key to their success. 
Outro Legacy of the Ottomans The Ottoman Empire's military campaigns, marked by both triumphant victories and heartbreaking defeats, left an indelible mark on the pages of history. Their story is a testament to the power of human ambition, the impact of technological innovation, and the enduring legacy of empires that once shaped the destiny of nations. From the fall of Constantinople to the gates of Vienna, the Ottoman Empire's military prowess reshaped maps, toppled dynasties, and left an indelible mark on the cultural and political landscape of three continents. Their story is a reminder that even the mightiest of empires are not immune to the tides of time. We hope you've enjoyed this exploration of the Ottoman Empire's military campaigns. If you found this video insightful, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel for more captivating historical content, and sharing this video with your friends. Join us next time as we delve into another fascinating chapter of human history.